What's going on and thanks for checking out this week's Destiny Reset video. I'll be explaining all of the weekly activities and everything you need to know about Destiny this week. First things first, if you're still looking for that sweet Spectar and Desolate gear, make sure you get your three Sterling Treasure packages. You can get one from playing the level 41 Prison of Elders, you get one just from visiting your Postmaster, and the last one you can get from completing a match in the Weekly Crucible playlist. And first up for the weekly activities, let's take a look at the Nightfall. And this week we're heading back to Earth and taking on the Fallen Saber Strike. The modifiers for this Nightfall are Catapult, where grenade recharge rate is greatly increased, Juggler, where no ammo drops for your quick weapon, Solar Burn, where solar damage from any source is greatly increased, and Airborne, where players deal more damage while in the air. As we all know, the beginning part of this strike is probably the toughest part where you need to defend the war sat, so hopefully you have a Titan with you with a Titan bubble, that'll definitely help a lot, give you some extra protection, and of course, make sure you use all solar weapons, that's just going to do bonus damage and should take those enemies down even quicker. Next up, in the Court of Oryx this week, the tier 3 boss is Kagor. This is the Taken Wizard, and the first part of this encounter is taking out the Acolyte Eyes, and then take down the large ogre that spawns in the portal. If you need a tutorial on how to complete this encounter, check the description below for a link to a video I have on that. And following up the Court of Oryx, we're going to talk about the King's Fall Raid this week. Gogoroth is going to be your challenge mode this week, and to complete the Gogoroth challenge, you want to make sure that each time you go through a damage cycle on Gogoroth, that every single person takes Golgoroth's gaze. Not too tough, just takes a lot of communication between your team. And completing this will get you some highlight level gear. And now for the weekly bounties. First we'll head to the Reef and visit Varix. We'll see what his three bounties are for the Prison of Elders. And now we'll head right over to Petrovenge and see what her three Taken bounties are for this week. Lastly, it's off to the tower to visit Lord Shax and see what his weekly crucible bounties are. And just a reminder, by completing all of his weekly crucible bounties, it gives you a Nightfall tier reward. So this is yet another place where you can get up to a 335 light reward. And finally, in the challenge of Elders this week, you're going to be taking on a full army of Taken bosses. First you have Norus, then you have Kekis, and finally you have Psylocke. And the modifiers you have are Juggler, or no ammo drops for your equipped weapon, and exposure, where guardian shields are increased but do not replenish. And your bonus modifier this week are melee kills. Make sure you get up close and personal to punch those enemies out and spec your player with high strength. And we also have a special guest joining us in the tower this week. Lord Saladin is back and he will be hosting another Iron Banner. Seems like he wasn't here too long ago but he must be getting ready to train those guardians for the Rise of Iron coming out later in September. And the gear we're going to be playing for are the boots and the gloves which are being displayed this week from one of the Year 2 Moments of Triumph shaders that you can earn. Now some of my fellow players that are on PS4, the special gear that you could be earning in the Iron Banner are going to be the Sony PlayStation exclusive gloves, which are showing up right here. The two weapons that you're going to be playing for this week are the Sniper Rifle and the Pulse Rifle. So make sure you jump into the Iron Banner, participate this week, and get some of this great gear to drop for you. As a reminder, items dropping at the end of each match can drop all the way up to level 335 light. And if you're looking for a quick way to reach rank 5 in Iron Banner, check the video out I have linked above. This shows you the quickest and easiest way to reach rank 5, and explains what, if any, the benefits are in doing so. And that's going to do it for this week's reset video. I hope you guys got a better understanding of what's in store for you this week in Destiny. And if you enjoyed the video or it helped you out at all, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see what's new in the weekly reset of Destiny. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.